Hockey Canada is honoring hockey heroes in communities across Canada. This is Ava's story. You can't see the injury. It's kind of, you forget that it's there for that hour that she's on the ice and because she's playing just like a normal kid and you kind of forget about it for that hour and then every, she's enjoying her, doing her cheers with her team and having fun and you just, it's kind of a break from that reality. With Ava Foote just a few months away from her second season of minor hockey, a June 2017 accident resulted in the loss of her fingers and part of her right hand and left her young career on the ice in doubt. And she underwent three surgeries at that time. Um, the last one was ten and a half hours long, so it's quite complex to kind of create that bone graft and to see if that was going to like hold and the tissues were going to heal properly. Um, and then, yeah, so that's kind of the, the stent in hospital and then it was kind of, you know, the, the healing phase with having a pin and allowing everything to kind of heal on its own and, and then get back to activity several months later. But the injury never slowed Ava down. Just a few months later, with some help and innovation from her coach, Ava was on the ice, ready to play. Hockey Canada made me a glove and Dwayne made me a glove. It holds onto the stick for me, so I don't so, cause, so I don't have to do this. I took my daughter's hockey glove and I taped it to a stick. I got some Velcro, some outdoor thread, and I sewed up this glove that would go on her hand. She came over and I handed her the gloves and I think she lit up like any child at Christmas would. And that night he sent me a video of her starting to stick handle with that stick and you know, it was fantastic. You know, a real moment for me, a great day. And uh, then I knew she was good to go for hockey. The glove has since been upgraded with some help from Hockey Canada and Ava continues to thrive on the ice, leaving a lasting impression on her novice teammates. She's a good teammate. She participates and she doesn't feel bad when we lose. Having fun and playing with Ava. That she's a good friend. She is good to the team and she's a very good hockey player for forward. For having gone through all that and just to put yourself in your, you know, her shoes, you know, somebody in their 30s and 40s, I don't think, you know, anybody could have coped as well as she did. And uh, I mean, she just totally, she's like our hero for sure. She totally inspires us. Ava's can-do attitude has made an impact on her local community and caught the attention of the local hero, Olympian Jillian Sonier. It puts things into perspective, you know, how hard you have to work and, you know, how committed she is to just the love of the game. You know, when, uh, when I saw the story, I got emotional because I was just so inspired by uh, how heroic she was and um, just such a rock star. So, if anything, it's, it's put a lot of things into perspective for me and I'm so excited that I could share this day with her. I want other kids to see that what Ava did and what she can do and the things that happened to her and how it didn't define who she was. She was able to get back on the ice and no issue. And Ava has one simple message to pass along to all out there that might have faced some challenges. Keep doing what you want, because that's fun.